so this is the base of the skull so uh, this is maxilla or the palatine palate palate part of uh, mouth so first is the incisive foramen for the nasopalatine nerves then in between we have this uh, intermaxillary suture then uh, as the continuation goes we have the interpalatine suture and in between this we have palatomaxillary suture this and this is the horizontal plate of palatine bone and along this medially we have the perpendicular plate of palatine bone then we have uh, also various structure like uh, <coughs> like we have greater palatine foramen for the greater palatine nerve and vessels and this is the lesser palatine foramen for the lesser palatine nerve then along these side these are the pyramidal processes then as we go down we have the media uh, medial pterygoid plate and the lateral pterygoid plate these are for the muscles attachment and this is the vomer bone and i have already uh, tell you that this is the syndelysis type of suture between the rostrum of uh, sphenoid and this vomer vomer of ella part basically and these are cone cone ma'am will ask you about the cone cone are uh, the basically connection with the nasal cavity in which when we cry when we cry the mucus will go to these uh, these cone that's why mucus will uh, come out from the nose then we have various foramina in this then first uh, the foramina is this uh, no first is this this is the uh, spinos uh, this is the foramen lacerum in foramen lacerum we have uh, <coughs> in foramen lacerum we have the nerve to the pterygoid canal or also we have the nerve then this is the spinosum uh, uh, n n not uh, spinosum this is the lacerum in which the greater petrosal nerve will go then this is the foramen oval this you can see this is foramen oval uh, it is the foramen for uh, 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 this this is foramen spine uh, the foramen oval which is for the mandibular nerve then this is the foramen spinosum for the middle meningeal artery then this is the tympanic canaliculus internal tympanic canaliculus you can see here it is for the jacobson nerve which is the branch of glossopharyngeal then this is the internal carotid uh, yeah, sorry internal carotid not uh, carotid canal this this is the carotid canal and this is for the internal carotid artery then this yeah this you can see this is the jugular fossa not foramen this is jugular fossa this is jugular foramen and this along the border it is the jugular process then also we have various structure like this these are styloid processes then these uh, this 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 is are the hypophy hypoglossal canal hypoglossal canal for the hypoglossal nerve and this is the posterior hypoglossal canal for various vessels it is in constant it is not always present then this this is the mastoid process this this is the mastoid process here you can know this is the mastoid pro process this is the mastoid foramen another for the emissary veins which directly go to the sigmoid sinus then this is the uh, mastoid groove and in between this and the late uh, styloid process we have another groove which is the occipital groove here then this is the stylomastoid foramen these stylomastoid foramen <laughs> then uh, we have this uh, external acoustic meat meatus then on the posterior side there is no another and uh, yes in the front front you can see this this these are the, well, you can see these are the superior at the superior level this this is the superior orbital fissure the superior orbital fissure is for the oculomotor uh, trochlear then the uh, branch uh, first branch of the trigeminal nerve which is the ophthalmic and also abducens then this 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 is the inferior orbital fissure you can see by this this these are the inferior orbital fissure inferior orbital fissure uh, so this this is the infra orbital fissure for the zygomatic branch of maxillary nerve then we have also optic canal optic canal you can see directly by going here this is the optic canal okay 
then we have another foramen which is foramen rotundum foramen rotundum is for the maxillary branch which is the second branch of trigeminal nerve and uh, also we have different uh, also we have two inconstant foramina so even if you are not learning that it is not the most more important this this first is the emissary sphenoidal foramina or the versalius foramina uh, is between the oval uh, oval and spinosum uh, oval and lacerum sorry this is the lacerum uh, okay this is the lacerum and this this here you can see versalius foramina this is for the emissary veins and it connect the uh, pterygoid plexus with the cavernosus sinus which is present here then second is in between this uh, this is the canaliculus innominatus it is between the oval uh, oval foramina uh, spi oval foramina and spinosum this spinosum and oval in this part you can see that it is uh, this is canaliculus in nominators it is it is sometimes the lesser petrosal now will pass through this foramina very rarely then also mm, we have this arcuate tubercle in the zygomatic bone okay and i forget about this this is a jugular foramen in which the 9th 10th and 11th cranial nerve will pass jugular foramen which is the glossopharyngeal vagus and accessory then then foramen ha huh, yes this is main the foramen magnum there are many like 14 to 15 structure are passing through this like uh, uh, we have different atlant occipital membrane lr ligament apical ligament also we have spinal cord and other ligament various other ligaments are also passed through this like vertebral arteries also and uh, let 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 me see and hmm, okay and last is on the lateral part in lateral part we can see the temporal part this is the temporal uh, part and this is the infratemporal part or fossa you can say this divide and uh, it is divided by the infratemporal crest which is the margin of upper margin of zygomatic then in infratemporal we have not various thing in uh, in infra, in temporal fossa we have not various thing we have in infratemporal like this this is the main which it is most difficult you can see it this uh, this you can enter it by needle and it goes in front of the nose uh, like this is the sphenopalatine foramen okay remember this and here this is the sphenopalatine foramen and the and the entering of this part this is the pterygopalatine uh, this is the pterygopalatine fossa that is foramen and this is pterygopalatine fossa and in between this this upper border this is the pterygomaxillary fissure okay and also petrotymphanic fissure is also one of the great uh, thing this this is the petrotymphanic fissure the shalikom ma'am asked also about this and this is the mandibular notch for the uh, for the attachment of mandible uh, condyle mandibular condyle then also this part this there is a triangle basically ma'am will not ask about this but in some cases in the module ma'am will ask about this this you can say this is the triangle in which the upper margin is the suprametal triangle suprametal triangle which is also known as uh, mac even triangle and this is the suprametal uh, process process or spine here it is like this suprametal uh, spine which is also known as the spine of henle this then okay no other thing is remaining so thank you.